Hey guys, so all the stuff in the news recently about Sario and the spoofing, I guess that most people don't know what spoofing actually is. Now, if you're a spread better, you don't generally see the futures market directly. Some people do, some people like to look at the actual futures time and sales and the depth of market, make an analysis, do some tape reading from that, and then execute on a sp via a spread betting broker. But a lot of people uh, don't really get involved with the actual order book, and so don't generally tend to see what spoofing is all about. So I'll give you an overview of, of what it actually is. So this guy has effectively been blamed for spoofing the market. So he's caused the market to go lower, supposedly, allegedly, and his actions on the order book have caused the market to, to drive lower and ultimately flash crash. That's what's alleged. So let me explain the order book to you. So in the futures contract, you've got um, what's called the market depth. And it's basically all the buyers and all the sellers stacking up for to buy or to sell. So on this side, we've got the bid. This side, we've got the ask or the offer. Now, along here, you've got price and volume. On this side, you've got price. Now, that could be the last uh, two decimal places of any market. So it could be 20,499, 20,400 for the Dow, for example, or it could be, you know, $50.99 for crude oil, uh, etc. So all I've done is I've kind of just broken it down into the into what it what it could be. And on this side, we've got volume. So this is the number of contracts that are available at that price. So at 97, you've got five contracts and 95, you've got 97 contracts. And these guys here are all waiting to buy. So they're prepared to buy at 99, 98, and so on. This side are all the people looking to sell. So you've got uh, the price on here. So 100 to, um, to 104, all the volume at each level. So if you wanted to buy this contract now, you've got a couple of choices. You can either come in and you can buy and pay 100. If you wanted to buy 50, for example, you would pay 100. And that then would take 50 away from the offer. And the best offer would still be 100, but there'd be only be nine there. So now someone else came along and bought 10. What would happen is you buy nine at 100 and one at 101. The new price for the market would be 101. And your fill would be nine contracts at 100 and one contract at 101. Okay, oh, that wasn't 50, but let's look at 39 uh, and, and vice versa. Uh, but if you also weren't bothered about uh, how quickly you got filled and you were more sensitive to price, what you do is you place your order in the bid. So if you again had 50 to buy and you said, you know what, I don't want to pay more than 97, you come in, you put in your 50 at 97, you would then join the order book and there we, you would, the order book would then show 55 available at 97, of which 50 are you. And it's first come, first serve. So the, the first five to get filled will be the guy before you, and then you get your 50 after that. But then it's price, it's price, and then it's uh, time. So obviously the people coming, if someone comes in to sell now, they're going to get 98, 90, uh, 99, 98, 97, and they've got to go through five or five contracts at 97 before you get your, your fill. So that's kind of how it works. Now, spoofing, what's spoofing all about? So, Sario uh, and others are accused of putting in orders that they never intended to execute. That is ultimately what spoofing is called. So, let's say, for example, the market is driving heavily lower and it's pulling back. And this is kind of what happened with the flash crash. Uh, you've got a good move lower, a little bit of panic as well. And so people are concerned about the market going even lower. Maybe they're losing money, they're long, whatever it may be. Maybe it's algos who are programmed to come out of positions. Now, when you've kind of got this catalyst, a lot of algorithms and a lot of people are watching this order book. They want to see where the orders are coming through. This is kind of what tape reading is all about. You want to see how quickly orders are hitting that bid, you know, the size of orders stacking up on the offer, and all those kind of relationships that will result in a market move. So what this guy's been accused of doing is accused of coming along and is accused of putting uh, extreme size into the market to make it appear like there's a big seller waiting to come in. So he would come in, and he would put something extreme like 5,034. Now, just, just to mention that uh, he did it in the S&P 500, allegedly, 
and thousands are very, very commonplace, so it'd have to be more than that. But in this example, when you can see that the average volume is kind of 30, 50, 20, 100, it's not that large. To see a, a multiple thousand order coming in this example would stand out. So that's the point. He comes in, he puts an extremely large order in just away from the market. He doesn't want to go at the market because he might end up getting filled, and he doesn't really want to get that filled. The whole purpose of that is to spook the market lower. He's already positioned short and he's wanting the market to drive lower so he can make more money. He doesn't really want to add more to his short there. And ultimately, who would really want to scare the market? If you genuinely want to sell, you want the market to come higher, right? That's the best thing as a seller. That's what you really want. So you know where you try and scare the market with a 5,000 lot. If you want to do 5,000, you probably do 100, 100, 100, 100 and keep reloading and working the order. So that's what it's all about. And ultimately what happens is the algos and people looking at this say, oh goodness me, 5,000 at 101, this thing's gonna tank. They then come in, they sell the 105, uh, sorry, they sell the 99, they sell the 98, they sell the 97, 96, 95, and drags the whole thing lower. He then pulls that order and he says, thanks very much. The market is now five ticks lower or 10 ticks, whatever it may be lower than it was before I got involved. And for added effect, he will then step this down, step this down, step this down, step this down. So he's always away from the market. However, if the market comes up and comes and say it fills all that and it is about to fill in, he will pull that order because it doesn't want to be filled. So that's what spoofing is all about. It's about aggressively making the order book appear more uh, weighted one way than it truly is. Now, one more thing very quickly is that another reason people spoof is not just to push the market in one direction. By the way, this is illegal. Spoofing is illegal. They do it because they want to get filled on the bid. So if we go back here and imagine this is our bid still, we've got 105 contracts positioned at 99. He comes in with a spoof order there and he really is 100 contracts sitting there and he hasn't been filled. He's been waiting for ages, can't get filled. Damn it, I can't get filled. What I do is spoofs it, makes it appear more aggressive sellers than it is. Other people see that, come in and will sell into his waiting buy. Maybe they'll fill all of his order. He gets his order. He then removes his spoof order. He's got his fill. He's done his objective. Highly illegal, um, but that's what spoofing is all about.